Hey, it's Daniel here. Uh, how to use or asking how to fix the stuck on loading screen issue with Grand Theft Auto 4 in Windows 8. Um, how you would go about this. I did reply, but I'm going to show a visual here as well. What you would do first is right click in the middle of your screen, not over an icon, okay, somewhere blank. Choose screen resolution. You're going to click on advanced settings. And you're going to look at the dedicated video memory line. So in this case, I have a 2 gigabyte card, and my dedicated video memory, of course, is 2048 megabyte, which is 2 gigabyte. So now that I know that, I can cancel this. I can close that. I'm going to right click on the Grand Theft Auto 4 icon on the desktop, go to properties. In the shortcut tab under target, I'm going to go to the end of the target add a space after the quotations and add a dash or a hyphen and type available vid mem space 1.0 okay so dash available vid mem 1.0 then we're going to click ok you're going to have to click continue and then launch the game when you launch the game you're going to go to the options menu then go to graphics and at the bottom of graphics it's going to tell you how many megabytes of video memory it's using of the total and you're looking at the total you want the total to be somewhere in the area of about at least within about a hundred megabyte or less of the dedicated memory that I showed you earlier okay so in my case, I've seen it many times configuring the game. Um, the, uh, the video memory that it detects in this machine is 1980 megabyte of the 2048. That is normal because Windows is using a portion of the video memory. So completely normal. If, for example, it says, um, say it says 250, but you have a three gigabyte or a four gigabyte video card, then you know there's a problem there. It's not detecting it. So as mentioned, you're gonna edit that target and you're gonna test it. If the game still doesn't perform or the game is locking up at that uh, screen, you're going to go back and you're going to make this 2.0 and then you're going to click OK, click continue and you're going to test it again. Launch the game, look at the amount of video memory that it detects, see if the game will get past the stuck loading screen area. If it does, keep the setting. If it doesn't, you're going to exit the game. You might have to force the game to close as well because it is going to stop loading essentially at that screen that it's hanging up on but you are going to come back to it right click properties target and you're going to make it 3.0 and you're going to keep testing 1.0 2.0 3.0 4.0 5 6 7 8 so on and so forth um, until you find the uh, correct uh, adjustment for your video memory do not exceed the dedicated video memory as shown here okay so don't go beyond the dedicated video memory okay you don't you don't want to force it to operate outside of its physical capabilities um, it's most likely going to lead to a crash um, but having said that I don't need this because mine does happen to um, detect properly now this is what you would do for the retail disk version of Grand Theft Auto 4. Now if you have Steam, and I do not have the Steam version of Grand Theft Auto 4, but I can show you what you would do. You go to your Steam library. I'm going to use Race 07 as um, an example, uh, but you would do it obviously on your Grand Theft Auto 4. You're going to right click on it, and you're going to choose Properties. Click on Set Launch Options, and for Steam, 
you don't use the available vidmem um, line. What you do is you put dash no mem restrict no mem restrict space dash no restriction. and you would launch your game okay so again for Grand Theft Auto 4 and Steam you would add the launch options dash no mem restrict dash no restriction or it would there's a space in there so space dash no restriction okay again it's not something I need for the moment so I'm going to remove it that's how you, how you should be able to fix the stuck on the loading screen with the animated characters for Grand Theft Auto 4 and Windows 8. Any comments, questions, certainly put the comment or question in the area below and I will try to resolve any further issues. Uh, keep in mind that uh, we do remote repairs as well. Uh, so if you're not able to configure something or you're having an issue, don't hesitate to add us to your Skype or MSN at elitetechhelp at outlook.com and pose a question and uh, we'll let you know how you, how you may go about that. Or if you do need the direct assistance, we can connect remotely to your computer and fix any given issue for a very, very low price. And uh, again, any questions, comments, let me know. If it doesn't work for you and you haven't been able to get it work, also let me know and I will try to find an alternative for you. Thank you very much. Ciao.